pissed. GOP Senator Brian Dolly expressing frustrations as utility bills keep going up for Californians across the state. Come to order. Speaking at the state Senate Committee on Energy, Utilities and Communications, Dolly and others here pointed out the average PG&E customer saw their utility bill increase by an average of $34.50 after the California Public Utilities Commission approved a $13.7 billion PG&E plan late last year that includes funding to bury power lines. A plan PG&E maintains will protect California from fires, but one Dolly says is too costly. I'm frustrated because I get the calls from the people whose rates are going up. Also front and center, AB 205. Passed and signed in 2022, it could change the criteria for how you may be charged on your utility bill. As it stands today, utility bills in California are based on consumption. The more electricity you use, the more you pay. But a provision in AB 205 will allow utility bills to be at least partly based on your fixed income. The higher the income, the higher the utility bill fee. Supporters of the legislation argue it's designed to help low-income Californians struggling to make ends meet. But opponents say the policy will hurt the very Californians it was intended to help. Californians like Patricia Barrett of South Stockton. It's unacceptable. She says with her tight budget, she invested in solar and reduced her overall electricity usage. Her utility bill then went down to just about $25 per month. But she believes should AB 205 take effect, her relatively affordable bill today could go up. I am on a fixed income. Every dollar increase is going to impact my life because now I have to think of how am I going to get a second or a third part-time job. There's not that many part-time jobs. So now my electricity gets cut off, you know, because I can't afford to pay it. The California Public Utilities Commission has until this summer to hammer out details and review proposals put forth by various public utility companies about how to best implement the new income-based utility policy, a policy the CPUC head believes will save Californians in the long run. One of the benefits of making a, this type of billing adjustment is it shrinks the kilowatt hour per hour price for all customers. Still, some are convinced the policy will do more harm been good. Our government has to come up with an alternative. We have to be able to say to the people, no more. Meantime, some Democrats and all Republicans in the legislature have launched an effort to either change or repeal AB 205, but Governor Gavin Newsom has yet to directly say where he stands on that. Reporting at the state capitol, covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.